Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to yet another reaction of me watching a random episode of Criminal Minds. Now before we get started, like usual, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate that. And check us out my other videos. And also if you're interested, hey, follow me on other social medias. All my links are down in the description. You can follow me on TikTok. I post like short reviews, short content on there. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram too. I post stuff on there too. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh I almost dropped my phone. Posting something right now. Just gonna, gonna wait for it to... I thought this would be done before I started recording, but it's still going. Yeah. Let me know. How's your day? How you doing? Doing good? I'm recording this on the weekend, you know? Let me know. How's your weekend? Is this coming out on the weekend? I don't know. Just let me know down in the comments. How, how you doing? Doing good? I, I read all of your comments, guys, you know? So, we'd love to know how you guys are doing and if you guys are enjoying this video. Okay, this is a long intro. I gotta get going here. So what episode are we doing today? Today we're doing season four, episode 18 called Omnivore. This is one of the episodes that you guys recommend. I read all of your comments and then I usually just give them to my sister and say, hey, you check out, you know, check out the comments of what people are suggesting and make a list and tell me what we're doing. So today we're doing season four, episode 18. Let's go ahead and get started. Mr. Hatchner? Yes. Uh, please, he's been waiting. Thank you. You're the only person he's asked for. You must be good friends. Uh, actually, we worked together once about 10 years ago. Hodge has friends outside of work. Okay, this guy's a decorated officer. Hi, Tom. You came. Thank you. Of course, Tom. I don't know why you asked for me. The Reaper. Solve a case that I haven't been able to solve. Or a case that came back, actually. <laughs> a deal with the devil. What did that say? If you stop putting me, I'll stop putting them. As long as we both shall live till death do us part. And death is doing us apart now, I guess. The killing stopped. I waited six weeks, six weeks, before I sent you away. But Tom, how do you know he stopped? He could have just gone someplace else. Oh, no, no. I've kept watch. I know he stopped. That's interesting. Signing like a contract. The serial killer was just like, all right, I'm done killing. Can we just... Don't look for me. I'll stop killing people. We don't let them get away with it. Then you'll have to pay for my sin. How do you mean? The contract is about to expire. Yeah. Death do us apart. I did it to save lives. Please tell the victims' families that I'm sorry. Please tell them, tell them I, I had no choice. It's a lot for one person to, to carry. But he did also save lives. Yeah, for like years, nobody was killing people because of their contract. Yes. Because I found it, do I get to know what it's about? The Reaper. Like. The Boston Reaper? I didn't even know the BAU worked on that case. Do you guys know anything about each other? If the serial killer is actually watching him, that is crazy. I mean, it is a serial killer. Can you imagine if he's just watching him? He's like, when is he gonna go? When is he gonna go? As soon as the guy dies, he just turns around and stabs the nearest person. He's like, cool, I can finally kill. Stab. And the contract, just like this guy, has expired. It's hunting season. Or it's open season, what do people say? It's killing season, if anything. <laughs> yeah, I've seen Zodiac. These, this couple is dead. That's not how you change the tire. It's just not how you change the tire. What if it was us? You'd want somebody to stop, wouldn't you? There's nobody in the car. <laughs> well, you want to try one of mine, see if it fits? Oh, thanks. M my girlfriend's on with AAA. Well, I'll give you my address. If it works, you can send me a check. I mean, if you want to stay out here all night, that's up to you. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Hey, you know, you know what? Sure. Give it a shot, right? Nope. No. No, I'm good. 
My girlfriend triple A's on its way. Yep, nobody in the car. Hey, so where's the tire at? Why you got a tool in your hand? Appreciate this. My pleasure. Goofy mask. Evan? Evan! <laughs> okay, that was low-key a jump scare. I'm not gonna shoot you. He's gonna do something worse. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, that guy has a silly sense of humor right there. Play a little prank on her. Don't worry, I'm not gonna shoot you. I'm gonna use this knife instead. Are you scared? Oh, the gun is gonna be for him. Okay. Alright. Yeah, dude kills people. But why though? It's the old guy. It's gotta be the old guy. That's my early prediction. The old guy that died. Yep, that's him. He's a serial killer. He made a contra of himself. Obviously, I'm joking. You know, sometimes YouTube comments, people, I don't know, maybe my sarcasm just doesn't translate well in video, but sometimes, sometimes people are not as smart as the FBI agents on the show. I'll tell you that much in the comments. Fate is not satisfied with inflicting one calamity. Roman author Publilius Cyrus. I like that one. Fate wants to fuck you always. We're going to Boston. Private jet. Private jet. Let's go. Offering the deal gave him the ultimate power better even than killing. Yeah, he literally made the police his bitch. So from 95 to 98, he shoots, stabs, and bludgeons 21 victims. Men, women, all ages, all types. No specific victimology or MO. How did you build a profile? Dude just likes to kill. He just kills for the love of the game, man. You guys wouldn't get it. The BTK killer was only caught after 25 years because he went to the press to counter a book that said he died, moved away, or been locked. <laughs> That's a funny... I've never heard of that story before. That's a funny story. If there's any proof that this horrible crime is anything more than a copycat, I'll be the first one. Wow. Laying it on thick with the Boston accent on that one. What was he thinking? This could destroy the department. The department. Like, the departed. You ever seen the departed? Good movie. Nina's throat was slashed. She was stabbed 46 times. Evan was bludgeoned and then shot. No shell casings were found. 46 times? The stabber is crazy. He hated her. The Reaper took items from each victim and placed them on the next so as to make sure we knew it was him. He only took glasses from one victim the ninth. We should have found them on the tenth and we didn't. They were never found. What was so special about the ninth victim? He survived. George Foyette, 28, was the ninth victim and the only one to survive the Reaper. Oof. Damn. That guy was getting slashed. Uh, the eye, as he depicts it, appears to be the eye of Providence. Uh, the words, Anuit Coeptis, inscribed beneath. That's Latin for Providence or fate has favored our undertakings. Um, uh, Reaper seems to see himself as the personification of... Of course he does. Of course he does. He's got an ego on himself. A call was made from a payphone about a mile from the crime scene. EMTs arrived 15 minutes later. Bertrand was DOA, Foyette barely breathing. At least it's polite of the Reaper to stab people and then call 911 to, you know, to get help over there. Good for him. Agent Hotchner. So if it's uh, just a copycat, what are you doing here? Helping the police catch him. The reporter is the killer. This guy, this guy's got to be the killer. I, I, uh... I spent time with the families. I, uh, I told the victim stories. Now, you would know that if you read my book. Yeah. It, it, it sounds like he's a I mean, like, he's a writer. He probably wants a story out there. Probably wanted something to write about. Yeah, I don't know. That's the only thing that I'm feeling right now. Or thinking. If it's him, it won't be long. That's a threat. How's he getting all this stuff? Where did he get, where did he get the bike from with the police uniform and everything? I'm gonna let you off with a warning. A warning? For what? You were at the wrong place at the wrong time. Excuse me? Shoot him. Never mind, just stab him. <laughs> well, she tried. She started moving. It, it just didn't work out for her. Unfortunate. It's like he went through a purse. 
Any idea what he was looking for? What's up with this guy looking through people's stuff and taking people's stuff? He takes their lives and then takes their stuff also. Fate. Is he gonna take out the entire family? Goddamn. He's saying it's not fate. He's saying we had 10 years to save them. Oh. I just started the profile and he stopped killing, so officially we were done, but this case. It stuck with you. I kept coming back to it over the years that I worked. Every cop has a case that they never solved that they had to come back to. The more I see, the more accurate I think it may be. Okay. Then we need to hear it. I'm telling you, it's the writer. I, I really do feel like it's the writer. He essentially is a predator who will kill anyone. Hence, omnivore, okay. Tom Shaughnessy was the Reaper's 22nd victim. Hmm. Okay, all right. Yo, the Reaper is good at his job. He doesn't get paid for it, but you know, it's a, it's a hobby. It's a hobby. He pays special attention to his younger female victims and his weapon of choice with them is the knife, a substitute instrument for bodily penetration. 46 times is crazy though. I think our guy is a hebophile. What's a hebophile? Someone who's attracted to adolescent post-pubescent children. Teenagers? Okay, all right. It's a new term. We're combining everything that we've seen so far in this show pedophiles and killers together in this episode nine months after he was released from the hospital he uh quit his job sold his car closed his bank accounts canceled his credit cards cell phone apartment everything he has no paper thus he has no trail and i can't find him because he's gone this guy did not want to be found he would have to completely isolate himself he's totally alone but how do you cut all ties you'd have to talk to someone right Come, come on, come on, come on. You know it's him. How did Coulson find this guy? He interviewed Foyette extensively for his book. They kept in touch. They're friends? Sort of. Isn't that sus? That's got to be a little suspicious here, that he knows where this guy's at. We met once before. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Would you mind if we get off the street, please? Sure. Yeah, this guy's extremely paranoid and sick. Well, it's just gonna take long because I really can't be late for work. What do you do? I'm a freelance computer specialist for the city. So what what kind of paperwork do you have? What? It doesn't seem like you're really off the grid all that much. Yeah, it's a little hard to find you, but like you own a you're you're in a house and you work. Oh, I mean that's how he erased himself because he's a computer guy. Uh, duh. The ring was still in my pocket when he approached us. He said he was lost. Yeah, I'm gonna stop trying to help strangers. Sorry guys, learn from uh, Criminal Minds not to help people. Sorry, minding my own business. They're bleeding. I watched him kill Mandy. He stabbed her 67 times. Do you know how long it takes to stab somebody? That's what I'm saying. That, like, it's insane, dude. Have you ever received any strange letters or calls, hangups? I keep residences under different names. I move between them randomly. He likes to get you in a car, so I take the bus. Believe me, I've gone through great lengths to make sure that none of the things you've just mentioned ever happened. What if you just, like, move away from Boston? We can take you someplace safe until this is over. No. <laughs> Boston is my home. It's the one thing I promised I would never let him take from What the f- what are you talking about? This is the only place he can get you at by the sound of it. I feel like a lot of your problems will be solved if you move out of Boston. That's like the one thing that you should do that this guy is not willing. He's willing to do everything else but move out of Boston, which is the one thing that will probably keep him safe. He's just a man. Nothing more. Then why can't you catch him? What do you like about Boston anyways? I've never been to Boston, but like, okay, you're off the grid, supposedly. You live in paranoia all the time. You move between residencies, like you said. It's not like you have friends or family that's like in Boston that you're seeing all the time. So what do you like about Boston? Are you going to run the story, Roy? You know, if I don't, I'll just give it to somebody else. Maybe, maybe not. To him, you're special. He wants you to know why he stopped. Oh, this guy's getting special letters? Okay, all right. Your book has sustained him. In his mind, nobody knows him better than you do. Nobody cares for him. It's because he is him, Hotch. Lock in. Hotchner. Okay, dude. If you stop hunting me, I'll stop hunting them. No, bro, we're not doing that deal again. I don't make deals. I'm the guy who hunts guys like you. Okay, Hotch. All right, all right, okay. There are no guys like me. Ooh, he had a great reply. He had a good one. You'll regret this. 
I'll see you soon. That kind of went bar for bar there, honestly. <laughs> this guy's getting on a bus now. <laughs> this guy thought a bus was gonna keep him safe. You walk everywhere at night, idiot. Almost missed you. Drive. Should have missed him. Just take the money. Nobody needs to get hurt. Actually, they do. Oh, oh. Oh, oh my God. Yo, that is, okay, that's crazy. I was thinking to myself, I was like, yo, what if he just shoots out this whole bus and then he fucking does it? That's so crazy. Arthur Lanessa's wedding ring. What'd he take? Does it matter? He could have taken anything off these people. There's six bodies in the truck, in, in the bus. Hey, what's going on with you? What do you mean what's going on with me? He just killed six people on this bus. He called me tonight at my hotel and offered me the deal. Well, what did you say? I hung up on him. And then he does this. Mm. See? See? The deal was, wasn't as easy to make for your other boss that died earlier in the episode. No, no, you hung up on him. You practically killed him yourself. Go ahead, get it over with. Don't worry about us. We'll get this guy without you. <laughs> if you want to end up like Shaughnessy, like Gideon, blaming yourself. Yo, what the hell did Gideon do? Shout out to Gideon. When did he leave? We're just guys doing a job. And when we stop doing it, someone else will. Yeah, the world keeps moving, dude. You can put that away. You sure? Yeah, it's a little dramatic, don't you think? My wife always said I had a flare for <laughs> Good duo. Good duo right here. Foyette said he likes to attack people in their cars. Tonight he hit a bus. Which is why Foyette only takes a bus. It was the number seven, and it stops right in front of Foyette's apartment. He knows where Foyette lives. Mm, he wanted Foyette to know that he's not safe. The apartment you interviewed him in today was 1439 Yarbrough. Oh, it's all of his residencies. All of his residencies are listed. I'm telling you, it's got to be the, the journalist. I'll take the back. Ooh, I like this split up thing. It's like, which one, Who who's going to find him? I mean... It's probably going to be, you know, whichever house Hotch is going into. <laughs> or maybe not. I was wrong. Oh my God, out the window. Goddamn. He, he just stopped being subtle. Just straight up tackled Morgan through a window. Oh, is it the cop? Hmm. Oh, that makes sense. Cause uh, earlier in the episode, I asked, "How did he? How did he get the cop bike? Uh, bike?" Come, Derek. It's time to die. No, no, he's good. Wait, did he actually get shot? It's any consolation? I don't think he knew what hit him. I'll call JJ. The bureau's gonna have to make a statement. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> this show, man. <laughs> I knew what they were doing with that. He took my credentials. The important thing is you're okay. Yeah, we don't really care about that cop. I'm sitting here because I was knocked out cold. He couldn't torture me. He likes to interact with his victims. To tell them he's gonna kill them before he does. Oh, he felt disappointed. Morgan was not replying. Morgan, you ready to die? Morgan. Morgan, wake up, wake up. Wake up, I, I need you to reply. I need you to show me a reaction of some kind. Say something. Signs of a struggle and a lot of blood. But no body. Just the drag marks. The human body holds five cords. Oh my god. That's so much blood. Foya. It was his worst fear that the Reaper would come back and finish the job. We offered him protection. Yeah, he refused because Boston, because he loved Boston so much. Fucking moron. He told us she was the love of his life that he was going to propose. But she just got here from Michigan. They only met when the class started. How long had she been in the class? Four weeks. So it was either love at first sight or what? Foyette was lying. He's a 28-year-old teacher's assistant in freshman classes. That gives him plenty of access to young girls. They seem to have cracked the case. I'm trying to follow along here. William Parker was fired for alleged inappropriate behavior with his female students. Yep, it's him. Okay. Why can't you catch him? Catch him. I thought this actor looked familiar too. Guest starring actor. Where have I seen him before? I've definitely seen him in other stuff. It, really, it is a real weakness of these structure shows like this. When you like see the credit or you see a familiar face and you're like, oh, 
he's the killer or she's the killer because she's the guest star. <laughs> he left his own glasses at the crime scene. He pointed us right back in his direction and still we didn't see it. He loves himself. He loves to have fun with you guys. I'm kind of angry with you. <laughs> I, uh... I gave your name to the FBI. Is that, uh, is that what this is about? I apologize to the journalist guy for uh, thinking he's the one that did it. Why didn't you break the story I gave you about the deal I made with Shaughnessy? What? It was a gift. I gave it to you. See, that's when I feel like if like Pharaoh instinct should probably kick in. You should just probably brawl him at this point. Tackle him. Attack him before he gets a before he gets his hands on a weapon. George, please! This can't be you. This can't What do you mean, this can't be you? If he's holding a gun to your face. I won. Okay. I beat them. And I want everybody to know that. And that is your downfall. You need him to write your story. I'm taking him with me. I'll let him go as soon as I'm safe. Where are you taking him? Come on. Come on, dude. You want the recognition that's going to come from the book that he's going to write. You want the fame that's going to come from the media. It's going to be like Bundy. I'm going to be bigger than Bundy. Bigger than Bundy, hmm. Big shoes to fill. If you know me so well, how come so many had to die to bring you here? That's your choice, not mine. You're the serial killer. He's still trying to tell him I beat you. Hello, Derek. Where's my badge? Was it gonna be here? Was he gonna put it? Or would he kill somebody already? And left his badge over there. You okay? I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, he definitely shit himself, at least. Maybe a little bit of pee. Men heap together the mistakes of their lives and create a monster they call destiny. John Hobbs. Mm, I like that one, too. Pretty good. They didn't find your credentials at any of the residences. The blood at the house was Foyat's. Reed guessed low. The coroner said it was four quarts. So he was just... He was just draining his blood? He's been planning his death for a long yeah, time. Yeah, there you go. So what, he took a little blood at a time until he had enough to convince us he was dead? And just sprayed it everywhere. Morgan, you're gonna have to find a way to let it go. Could you? You'd have to, because if you don't, that means he won. He got inside your head. Some of these little slow motion effects. What is he doing? Is he cutting his own wrists? With the bed frame? That's kind of crazy. Okay, now he's drinking his own blood. Ew, okay. You are, you are disgusting. Floyd escaped. How, how did all that lead to that? Guards found him in a cell vomiting blood and convulsing. They rushed him to the prison hospital. Oh, okay. Still don't know how that happened. Boston Field Office just identified documents from Foyette's house. There's schematics for the electrical, heating, and water ducts at East Woburn Correctional Facility. He had the schematics. And not just for open for every jail, prison, and courthouse in Massachusetts. And 10 years to plan. Is it another episode where they get away? He said he'd be more famous than we knew. And he was right. Mmm. Mm, good ending to the episode there. Okay. Damn, that dude was smart. He was playing the whole thing. Is there a part two to this? I wasn't told that there was a part two to this. I feel like I would have been told about that. Let's see. Uh, damn, nobody's really giving you a straight answer on that one. Nobody's really giving me a straight answer on that one. Okay, well, I'm going to assume that he's gone for now. Let me know down in the comments if there is a part two to this. I would, I would like to see how it ends. I'm not really seeing any right now. Anybody telling me? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. It Does, doesn't really seem like it. Hmm. I like this episode just because it kept me it kept me guessing, I guess. I was really onto that journalist. And then it turned out not to be the journalist. I thought because of all the whole the whole narcissistic, egotistic thing that they were saying, I was like, oh, what if it is the journalist and he's looking to like write stories about himself and wants the fame. The fame and the story and the book and all that is in there, but it's just relating to somebody else. I was kind of I was taking all of those elements and putting them onto the journalist because he was the one writing them. So I do apologize to him. It actually turned out to be the guy, yeah, it, it turned out to be the guy that survived, the, well, his own stabbing, I guess, yeah. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's reaction to Criminal Minds, make sure to leave a like, like usual, subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, let me know down in the comments how was your day and if you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!